this is a really funny one. Um, this happened recently, um, where fucking Bert was, I guess, trying to be funny on the on the timeline, and for once he got called out, and I'm sure he loved it because Bert's a fucking psycho, so I'm sure he loved the attention anyway. But Bert Kreischer went um went to Knoxville, I guess, some, somewhere in Knoxville, and he was standing by the statue, and he posted this tweet that said, "Knoxville, should we crash a frat party um tonight after the show?" I'm saying it's a statue um, with the guy from um, what you call it. Um, I forgot the fucking podcast name, um, and then some another dude as well. And everybody roasted him for the picture, basically saying, "Hey, number one, don't go to a frat party, and number two, you're 50 year old." So I love that all the quotes. I'm going to read all the quotes here for you that people are getting it, ripping into him. One guy says, "How embarrassing to post this as a 50 year old man, right? He's keep, he actually looks kind of slim to be fair. He actually looks like he lost a bit of weight." But I love the fucking crack amico disc because every time I think. Brett's lost weight. I automatically keep thinking of Krakamiko's diss to him and the fact that even though he keeps losing weight, he still has fat man face, you know? He still has fat alcoholic man face, which I don't know how it's possible. How is it possible to lose weight, still have a fat guy's face and then still look like you, you drink a lot? Usually if you drink a lot, you don't really lose weight. So I wonder how he's able to keep that. Maybe it's a Zempic, who knows? But I love that everyone's calling him out about the age thing and telling him, no, don't go to a fucking frat party. And I also love the fact that, you know what, this is funny. I just thought about it just now it's interesting that Bert actually thinks because how old are frat kids how old are kids in college 18 to what 25 why does he think 25 year old kids know who he is or give a fuck about who he is you know it's a strange thing that Bert he has this like I understand the adult frat boy thing in a way because there are guys in the world who never let go of how they were in college right they're kind of trying to relive their kind of college years we get that but where the, the, the kids nowadays in college unless they're super rogan fans why would they know who bert is you know why would a 25 year old be excited to see bert would they be more excited to see fucking kai cena or aiden ross or something why would they give a fuck about him it's a strange thing that he thinks he would be even popular at a frat party like as if he'd be known because i think he's he sees himself like as a snoop dogg figure right if he pulled up to a frat party he'd be like oh my god it's bert it's like bro Snoop, you and snoop dogg are two different completely two different people so i don't think it will end that way so i think he'd be in for a brutal awakening if he actually did go to a frat party i think he'd be surprised how many people don't know who he is you know it, it might actually hurt his feelings so he probably shouldn't do it um let's continue another person says i thought that was a statue of todd howard at first another one says no you're 50 that's the one with the highest amount of views right here 3.8 million views no you're 50 brutal Another person says, no, you should go home to your wife and kids. Fix your fucking alcohol problem, you fucking degenerate. You're 51 years old. Stop acting like you're a 20-year-old frat boy. Bloody hell, mate. He went in. This person went fucking in. <laughs> Another person, everyone who steps foot in the frat is a legitimate military target, but especially a 53-year-old man. I love how they keep reminding him of his age. But it's 53, you know. I didn't know he was that old. I swear to God. I didn't know Bert Kreischer was that fucking old. He's 53 years old. Oh, it's 51. Okay, it's 51. Maybe 52. But he's in his 50s. That's fucking wild the way he acts, isn't it? 51 years old and he's out here like adult frat baby time. Pretty fucking wild. 50. In his 50s. But to be fair as well, he, he does have the emotional intelligence of a child, which is understandable how he's grown up. You know, it kind of makes a lot of sense. So maybe that's why. Look at fucking Dave Chappelle. What the fuck is he wearing? Oh, he's got the Ricks on. Okay, cool. Dave Chappelle's got the Ricks on. Dave Chappelle's got the fucking Ricks on. Love the fucking Ricks. The Rick pants are fucking solid. I'm not. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I like the Rick pants. I'm with it. I'm with it. Look at Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Look at him. He means it's so hard, isn't it? It's so funny. I'm not kidding when I say Burt Crash is the most insufferable person on the internet. I'd rather watch an Amy Schumer special. Yo, that's brutal. That is fucking brutal. This also shows the lack of relevant the lack of relevancy Brendan has nowadays. Brendan isn't even a punchline anymore. I know I keep making everything about Brendan, but it's fun. But Brendan isn't even a punchline anymore. People are going back to the Amy Schumer thing. Before it was like, oh my god, I'd rather watch a Bert, you know Brendan Schumer special. Now Amy Schumer's back in the zeitgeist. So that's gonna hurt. Um, another one get a job and stay away from her jesus christ another one when a bunch of 50 year old men show up to at, co at your college party exactly 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 it's a perfect meme in their heads they think they're super popular but 
actually, you know, 18 to 25 year olds don't know who you are and you definitely look like everyone's dads. You could, you could be everyone's dads. You know what I mean? Stay the fuck away. Um, no, you should all take Omega Freeze and get a proper rest. <laughs> Uh, th- th- that's a comedian, right? Dalton Pruitt. I think that's a comedian, right? Yeah, that is a comedian. I recognize his name. <laughs> Another one. What's this? What's this meme? Dude, what the f***? Why are you f***ing here, man? You're so old. Where's your wife? Go home to your family, dude. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Um, Foley losing weight for Kippy to gain some so they can eventually become the same person. That's Foley. Oh, that, yeah, the, 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 that's Foley from the... Um, What's that thing called? Are you garbage podcast, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, he does look a lot. He does look a lot skinnier, doesn't he? What's his name again? Is it H Foley? How do you say his name? Is it Foley? Yeah, that's his name, right? He has lost quite a bit of weight. To be fair, he looks really good. Fair play, fair play to the guy, because he was gigantic before. So maybe maybe he's on that good old Zen pick. That's a good thing. So big up Foley. I like him. He, he's, he's actually really funny. Especially on the Ali Garbage stuff. I've never, I've never actually watched his stand up. Does anybody watch this, his stand up? Is he actually good on stage? I never watch any of his specials. Is he, is he good? Is he actually a good um, comedian? Because I think he's a brilliant podcaster personally. He asks really good question. Very, 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 very cool dude. Um, let's continue. You shouldn't be allowed near anyone under thirty. Brutal. For a second, I thought they were standing to um, with a statue of Tucker Carlson. That's hilarious. <laughs> Don't you ever wear. Don't you ever wear my club's my club's logo again, you obese toddler. What what team is that? Oh, Columbus Crew. You obese toddler is absolutely brilliant. You obese toddler is absolutely brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, another one says, Pat Summit would despise these guys. The machine repping crew. Why is Matt Patrice, Patricia with Bert? You should crash a Boeing 747 into the Pentagon, you fat. Our word. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. My brother in Christ, you're in your 50s and an alcoholic. Middle-aged men asking social media if they should crash a frat party. No pussy no pussy getting activities. Pinnacle of peaked in high school. But you have a grey beard and a family with daughters almost ready to head to college. You shouldn't be anywhere near a frat party. What are we doing here? Oh, I love that. Why is a man who's born in 1972 asking this? <laughs> That's brilliant. Why is a man born in 1972 asking this? Oh, 51 year old talking about crashing a frat party. See, now I'm starting to think to myself like, shit, that's kind of how I feel like when I'm talking about clubs on here sometimes. When I'm on the fucking The Agassiz and Zinger Show, the number one cultural commentary podcast in the fucking world, by the way, Taz, new episode um, 763, available now on my channel. Check it out, The Agassiz and Zinger Show, episode number 70, 763, which is horny fucking settings. Check it out. Whenever I'm on there talking about fucking nightclubs and like nightlife culture and techno and shit, sometimes I'm like, ugh, am I the, am I the old guy in the corner of the room? Am I... <laughs> Am I the undercover cop <laughs> on the dance floor? Is that who I am? Am I the undercover cop on the dance floor? Am I the creepy uncle? <laughs> hey, gay ladies. Anyone want a hug? Where's my hug at? You know? Am I the where my hug at guy? Is that who I am? Am I the where my hug at guy? Let's continue. Women's basketball and midlife crisis. You already know what the South is all about. Is that a Daniel O'Donnell? Um, this guy isn't funny. His stick is just ripping off his shirt, blasting his bat, his dad bod, and being loud. I've never heard one interesting observation leave his mouth. Get away from our queen, Jesus! Can you imagine planning a normal party, maybe twenty to twenty-five beers? Then Bert shows up, and forty-five beers later, you're waking up in the Vado Lorado jail cell, wearing a Godzilla costume next to a naked German and a shaved goat. Make it happen. Be this change you want to see in the world, Gandhi. Lols. Isn't that Tucker Carlson statue, bro? You're old enough to be their dad. You're almost old enough to be their granddad. Go. Yes, yeah, a good point. He is. In some cases, if he was smashing and bussing early enough, he could be a lot of college students' granddad. God damn. You should probably go home to your family. You're over 50 years old. Do you think Bert will ever graduate from acting like a college student by the time he turns 50? 60? No, he wouldn't. That's the funny thing. I've also, I've also thought that. What will he do as he gets older? He's not going to change anytime soon. He He's actually... I think Bert is actually dreading the day he has to stop taking off his t-shirt. 
It probably makes him wake up in like a cold sweat. He doesn't want to do that. He loves being the frat boy. He loves always being the drink guy. He probably will. He, I think he'll probably try and evolve into like the Ron. What's his name? Ron White. Because he always talks about Ron White. So I think he probably will try to evolve into the Ron White kind of persona and try and be this older, sophisticated dude who also likes a cigar and a drink. But I don't think he's possible. I don't think he has the the class. He has a je ne sais quoi that Ron White has, which is just kind of in him and not on him. Um, I don't think he could do that. He's still, you know, he's the guy that's drinking shots, um, taking beers to the face. I don't think he could do that. I honestly don't think he could do that. Um, that day was 15 years ago. That day was 20 years ago. But exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. NJ, problem? Ron White is funny. <laughs> exactly. Ron White is infinitely more funny than bro. Problem. Ron White is funny. <laughs> exactly. But has to get funny first. Then he can change. Knoxville, treat this man right. You're a senior citizen. Those those the kids dork know. Those kids dork know you. Kids don't kids don't know you. Okay, cool. Kids don't know you. Fifty one years old, by the way. Another person. I don't believe Kippy is now bigger than Foley. Is that a Tucker Carlson statue? Zesty Tucker Carlson statue. You should crush your blood. You should crush your blood sugar. Yo, the comments are pretty brutal. Now I understand. Now I get why Bert says he doesn't read comments. Bert says he doesn't read comments, and I get why he doesn't. Because the comments on like the comments on his Instagram or his Twitter are pretty brutal. Maybe just as bad as Brendan. I didn't know, man. Fuck. People really give it to Bert. People really give it to Bert. You should crash into a pole instead. It's time to move on, old man. The screenshot of his age. I'm too old to crash a frat party, and this dude is way fucking older than me. Why are comedians not named Norm Macdonald all such degenerates? Yeah, exactly. R.I.P. Norm Macdonald, man. R.I.P. fucking Norm Macdonald. Um, what's another one? One time we did a build a bar party and all these band directors in town um, for a conference heard about it and showed up with liquor. Top 10 college memory and they weren't even famous. Yeah, true. That, 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 I, I don't know. I've not really had... I don't really had that. When's the last time I had something like that? That, that, that can happen from time to time where like an older you know person comes in to a party that they didn't know was full of young people and they can sometimes I remember actually I remember there was one time a guy put his car behind the bar for like an hour and people just ran it up and drank a bunch and then he kind of dipped that's sometimes quite fun right um, run it out until I run out of money basically that was pretty fun but for the most part Number one, if you're older and you like to party, you don't want to be around young kids. And number two, if you get if you if you walk into a, a frat party by accident, you're just gonna walk back out. You know what I mean? It's just what it is. Um, you're not gonna stay and hang out and try and make friends. It's just weird. All f all three pushing fifty, by the way. Is that Tucker? Impromptu fat for fat court. Who looks the heaviest? Okay, cool. Shut up. Um, these day these de days are over. It's weird. You can't realize exactly. That's that's the one to end it with. The days are over and it's weird you can't realise it. That's the real truth. I think that's mostly something that I want to end on because I think this is the pain point of people who peak in high school. Because I don't think it's a bad thing to peak in high school. I've got a controversial opinion. I think peaking in high school is actually decent because most of us don't get to peak at all. We don't peak in high school. We don't peak in college. We don't peak in our adult life. We don't peak when we're fucking relationships and got families. We never peak. Our life is just a steady, mm, like, straight line. So we all live lives of, like, quiet. What's that thing called? What's that quote? What's that Joe Rogan quote he always says? Most men, most men live lives of quiet desperation, right? That fucking quote, right? One day I came across a line in the Old Testament that says, most men live lives of quiet desperation, he written Walden. That's the fucking truth, right? We well, do. So if you have a chance to peak in high school, enjoy it, savor it. But the problem with people that peak in high school is that they never know, as this person says, they can never realize it's over. You're allowed to peak in high school and bask in it, but you have to also realize it's over now. We're not in high school anymore. We're all grown ups. And I don't I don't think, and this is my honest opinion, I truly don't think Bert has ever accepted that it's over. He's still living in that kind of glow. Maybe it's not his fault, maybe because he has the same friends. I don't know, you know. But you can tell he actually fully in his brain still lives under that umbrella under that aura under that glow of like being the college guy you know it's pretty fucking crazy i'm not gonna lie it's pretty fucking crazy um really lame um really dumb but hey what can you do what 
can you do? What are you guys saying in the stream chat? Um, nobody cares about peaking anymore. Exactly. Good point, Z. I still remember seeing an old house professor at the club when I was in uni. <laughs> yeah. It's always weird whenever you see a teacher outside of a you know the teaching establishment. It's always fucking a bit of a mindfuck. Um, in the words of my uncle David, Bert is wasting away to a to a ton. Yeah, that's true. Um, to a tune. Or oh, one time I supported Bert Tom Tom versus Bert. Bert said he hates me. Um, for sure, the full reading comments. Um, oh, you think he is reading comments? I don't think so. I think Bert is quite sensitive. I don't think he could handle it. I actually believe him. He might read a couple, but he ducks out. I think he's really sensitive. And if he actually did read what people think about him, he would. it would actually crush him to know that people don't love him online as much as he loves himself type of thing. I think he kind of needs to not like that. And to be honest as well, he gets way more love in person. He sells out a bunch of shows. Fans want all his autographs and selfies with him. They get, they're super happy when he comes to the bar. So he clearly has a lot of love in on the streets, IRL. So he probably should just focus on that, which is why he's always out and about touring, isn't it? So, yeah... I, I think it's I, I think it's perfectly reasonable to be fair. I think it's perfectly reasonable. He's got main character syndrome. He thinks he's a uh, Tom Cruise from twenty years ago. It's like <laughs> that's a very good point. He thinks he's Tom Cruise from twenty one years, twenty years ago. But even Tom Cruise doesn't think he's Tom Cruise from twenty years ago. You know, like that's really hilarious. Um, super Jello. Az believes all comics. Yeah, I'm a look. I've got a lot of flaws. One of my flaws is that I'm incredibly gullible. Unfortunately, so um, I always like to give people the benefit of the doubt, and sometimes I'm wrong right but that's the beauty of this fucking stream i have some great hot takes and sometimes i have some dog shit hot takes you know what i mean that's the beauty of it man we just throw it all up in the air we see what fucking sticks yo we see what fucking sticks yo that's what we fucking do on the random show we don't play any other games 